Hi guys, today we're going to build the best FPV goggles ever with Wheel University, with Build and DVR and the most comfortable one. So please stay with me and we go together step by step and believe me, if I can do it, you can do it. And we also want to say thanks for Ready Eddy, the big Eddy that support our project. This is our goggles. The LED, the diversity, we have a DVR and a lens inside for the screen not to be so close to your eyes. I just connect the battery. As you can see, the DVR is working. The screen inside. This is a test for the DVR. Let's play right now. The base for the goggles, it's that VR goggles from Banggood. They are very comfortable and easy to use. This one. We also need the diversity receiver from Banggood. That one with the LCD. And we also need to buy the screen from Banggood, only that one. Because this one is no blue screen and no black screen. You don't want to get something like this in flying. So only this one is good for you. And you also want to get the DVR, this one. It's a DVR in and video out, all in description. And you may also need a farm board and a lens. Like that one. I put all the links for all the stuff in the description. We need to take out this plastic. Now we must to remove that plastic. I recommend you to paint the foam board in black.
enough for me. Excellent. And just going to put it just right here. First of all, I'm going to connect the battery to the motor diversity. That supports 3 cell and 4 cell battery. In that model, we're not going to use the connector so we can to take it out. In the cover, I make some holes because I want to fit the model right here and the LED screen outside Now we connect the battery, let's see if it's work well. Excellent. Before you're gonna start, just make sure the screen is the right screen. You must have a snow. No black screen, no blue screen. I have many screens that I buy, and none of them is good for us. There's no snow. So, if you connect the battery, and you get the snow, that means that's okay. If not, it's not gonna help you, sorry. Now we're going to set up the screen. First of all, let's open the cover. Inside the screen, it really doesn't matter which connector you have. Or you have like this one, or like that one. It's the same, it's only the connector. Now we're going to connect the screen and the battery and the model together for the ground and the power.
Now, after we connect the screen and the module to the power, let's see if it's all turned on. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do. In the module, we have the video out and the ground. So, connect the screen to the module. We choose one of the signal. I take the white one and connect him to the video out from the module. Now we just make a little test. Connect the quad. Connect the battery. Searching for cha searching for channel. Okay, that's excellent. Now we're going to connect the DVR. The power supply we get from here, this is 5 volt. The video in to the DVR we also get from that signal and we connect the DVR out from the DVR to channel 2 from the screen that we able to see what we are recording in the DVR. But important thing that I forgot to say that we must a soldering a little button for the signal because when it's turned off the signal one work it's turned on the signal two work so now we're going to make the button for the signal. And I think that I want the button be something like here. And this is a perfect place for me. It's it well. Now we're gonna hold in the DVR. And we also connect the video out to the DVR. Now we're gonna take the video out from the DVR. And connect the button, first of all. and the channel 2 from the screen to the button and that's we do for that we can see what we are recording in the DVR now all we have to do is a little check to see that it all, all works well 
and if he's well so we can close the glasses and finish the work. After I connect channel 1 for the video from the module and also connect a signal to the DVR in to record what I see and video out from the DVR to the button and from the button to channel 2. So now I'm going to connect the quad and if everything is work well then we can close and finish the goggles. I connect the battery it's searching for a channel okay and now is the real test the DVR is working and if I change the button it should be change the channel for the DVR channel let's see how does it work Yes, excellent. I am happy with it. And we also need to set up the screen control so we can set in from outside. Okay, that's nice. And this is the final test before we are closing the box and everything. I connect the battery. The screen work. The DVR is working. The outside light is working. And let's change the channel to the DVR channel. Yes, all fine.